My name is Carl Elizabeth Yarkhan. I'm 40 years old of Indian and English ethnicity and someone who's very active, had a very full life, incredible childhood and always looking to maximize my quality of life. At the age of 30, I was diagnosed with hereditary inclusion body myopathy, a rare genetic muscle wasting disease that affects all of my skeletal muscles from head to toe with the exception of the quadriceps. You can imagine at 30 in the prime of my life, a time when I was hoping to have children and also in the middle of my United Nations career, the news was devastating. More so was the reaction of the doctors, that I should give up, move home to live with my parents and wait for a wheelchair. That really wasn't an option. I continued on with my international career and my family and I began to research. Because there is no approved cure or treatment for HIVM to date, we are looking for alternative therapies that we understand aren't necessarily a cure, but they are treatments that can help maximize my quality of life, keep me walking and keep me active for as long as possible. So you can imagine how thrilled we were when we were introduced to Dr. Malin in Scottsdale, Arizona. We did our research, we took our time. He was gracious in answering all of our questions, but also doing his own research, contacting doctors who are looking at HIBM cures and treatments, working with patients to understand would this be beneficial. That helped instill a level of trust. And then with our own research, again, we had another layer of confidence that this might be something that would do well by me. At the age of 39, about eight months ago, we met Dr. Malin for the first time and underwent a first stem cell therapy treatment. Now, for someone who grows up strong and healthy, raising their hands above their head, maybe for a woman to tie a ponytail or to reach up to a top shelf to bring down a glass or, or, or plate might not be a big deal. But for someone like me who's incredibly active, has a full life, a full career, not being able to just put my hair in a ponytail or reach up for a glass was devastating. Not because of the actual activity itself, but because of what it might mean of what was to come. I do use two leg braces, AFOs, for complete foot drop on both legs and a walker. So you can imagine walking had become tiresome and difficult. After stem cell therapy, after we realized that these were replacing and repairing stem cells that have been damaged, muscle cells that have been damaged, that combined with exercise, diet, a positive attitude, continuing with that active lifestyle, we started to see changes. I was able to raise my arms above my head and put my hair in a ponytail. I'm able to reach up like this, almost effortlessly, effortlessly pardon, and grab that glass or that plate. I love to cook, I'm always in the kitchen. And so we've seen progress so much progress that after four years of walking with a walker, I was able to go back to walk on two canes, not a couple of steps, not a hundred yards, half a mile, without experiencing any pain, without there being any sort of discomfort and no injury. Even more exciting than that, I've been able to take independent steps. You can't imagine what this means for me and my family, to be able to have hope hope that one day I might walk again unassisted. But more than that, what we really got clear in our mind is that for a long time, a much longer time than we had anticipated, I'm going to have a higher quality of life thanks to stem cell therapy. We're great believers, we're gonna continue our research, and I hope that one day governments around the world approve stem cell therapy so that we can bring it to patients everywhere, not only in the United States, but around the world, so that they can not only have a chance at a better quality of life, but hope, just like we do.